Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. I love utility apps on macOS that do cool things and save me a bunch of time. Now PopClip by Pilot Moon is an app that we've touched on before that allows you to take text and do a whole bunch of stuff with it. However, given the amount of extensions now available for the app, over 180 as I record this, I thought it might be nice to just boil these down into the 10 actions that I use most with PopClip to add value to my day or week and save me both time and money. That's right, one of them actually saves me money. Okay, first a refresher on where you can get PopClip and how much it costs. So you can get it in the Mac App Store. This is what it is and what it looks like. There's very high ratings, of course, because it is a great app. However, you don't have to get it from the Mac App Store. It can come from the developer site as well. I'll just close this. And here we have the product page at pilotmoon.com, which I've brought you to because it shows you the price at the bottom here. Now you do get a free trial, but it is $15 and I bought it years ago and have never had to pay any kind of upgrade fee. It's really great value. The homepage is good. There's a link to a user guide. There's a downloads page for both the app and the extensions, as well as a full change log as well. So it is worth keeping hold of this page. In fact, I'll be doing just that with PopClip very soon. Let's open it though, because it's not running as yet. I'll open Alfred here. I'll type PopClip and press enter. And here it is up in the menu bar. Now you can do a few little configuration bits here first before you start. If I click, it is the first time that I've used it with this account. So I'll click got it on this message here. And I can see PopClip is running. We'll use it soon, but I'll just check this start at login box and also keep it shown in the menu bar. Next to that is a settings cog that allows you to change the size, change the appearance color, and also where the text is gonna be positioned. And then most importantly, we have the extensions button, and this lists all of the extensions that can be actioned when you highlight and select some text. Now you can add more extensions by clicking on this plus button. And what that will do is it's gonna take you to this page here where all of these supported actions are listed and batched into categories. So we have text editing options at the top here, then text transformation ones. And below that, we have extensions for markdown, running stats on your work. And there really is so much more. In fact, I'm gonna slowly scroll down here just to give you some kind of an idea as to how many different extensions there are now available, as well as how many different categories we have. And if you haven't checked these out for a while, I know you're gonna be surprised with how many more there are. It is just, wow, there's so much here. And minimizing this screencast to just 10 is really hard. Now, before I pause and install some of these extensions, I'm just gonna install one for you now to remind you how to do it, or to show you if this is your first look at the app. I'll click the download button next to one of them. Let's do timestamp, which is quite a useful one. It puts a date or timestamp in your document. I need to allow downloads here. Now I need to switch across to Finder, go to my downloads directory, and there is the PopClip extension. So I'll double click and it's installed, simple as that. Now some of these extensions do have settings that you can configure. So up here, I can click this drop down to select a date and timestamp style, as well as a couple of other checkboxes here, but I'll click okay. And it appears there at the bottom. Now if I want this near the top, because I use it more often than others, I can click the pencil, and drag it up to reorder. And that's done. Okay, that's the basics of how to install and set up PopClip. I'm gonna pause now and download 10 of the extensions I'm using most often right now. Doesn't mean to say they're the best, they're just the ones that I'm using the most and come back. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.